creation declares that this world of ours, this world of God's creating, is cyclical. Seasons come and seasons go. Living beings are born and grow and eventually die. Even mountains, whose existence appear eternal through our eyes, through our human life experience, have been formed by fissure and fire in a time long, long ago and are slowly, ever so slowly, being worn down by water and wind. Today we consider the declaration made by butterflies when they break forth from the chrysalis as new creations, how this simple act of nature shows us how to unwrap the gift that is everyday life. We celebrate the effort that breaking into a new life takes as we continue to awaken to the rich blessings of this present day. So would you take another deep breath and let's sing together. Live. I answered, Oh Lord God, you know. 
Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you and will cause flesh to come upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live. And you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been commanded. And as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. I prophesied as he commanded, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. <laughs>
are alive, we are well, please reach out to the people next to you and welcome them. Offer a sign of peace this morning.
All right, I'm starting, but I still have that range where my voice is not where it's supposed to be. So you have to finish the song, all of those who know it. Okay? I have decided to follow Jesus. There's something going on on our planet 
There's something going on, at least in the circles in which I travel, with human beings right now. I don't know how many conversations I've had just within the last two weeks with people who said, there's just been this pivotal moment. And maybe it was COVID. Maybe it was all of us having to take a step back. But for different reasons, people are saying, there's just something different. And I can't be who I was before. I can't go back to the way it was. I can't live in a place of anger. I can't spend my whole life working and working and working and overworking. I need time to just rest and be with my family. It's a pivotal moment we've hit so many times in our lives. And will we learn from this one? Will we take a step back? Will we reach into the depths of our souls and examine what's important and what's not? Or will we eventually fall back into the same patterns we were in before? We get to decide. This Christian journey, once you, once you are awakened, once you decide, I'm going to follow Jesus, if you stay with it, if you keep going in the forward direction and choose not to take those steps back, you just keep unpeeling layers and layers and layers of truth and depth in your life. When I was a kid, the, the, one of the Bible verses that was quoted to me all the time was that I was to live in this world but not be of this world. Right? And I was told that was always that I was supposed to do only church things. I wasn't ever supposed to think about secular things. Right? But I'm looking at it so differently now. Because Jesus was not sitting around reading the Torah. At least not that's not what got written about. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying he didn't. I'm not saying he didn't go off and he was contemplating and contemplate Torah, but he wasn't sitting around with his nose in the Torah all the time. He was living. He was living amongst the people. He was in this world. Right there beside the struggling, right there beside the people in pain, right there with everyone in all of the messiness that is the life of being human. He was in this world, but he chose not to live with the same standards, with the same ideals. He chose to challenge what everybody told him was right. That's the one we're supposed to be following. That's the one we say we are following. We say we are followers of Jesus. Christian has come to mean so many things in our world. But we are followers of Jesus. We are in this world, in the thick of it. And when we get scared, we're in the middle of that bridge and we get scared, we know that Jesus has already gone over it. And we can follow it. And we know that the Spirit is right there with us, taking every step. That's who we are. And I always open, or I try to most of the time open it. If anyone has something burning on their minds, 
and feels like they need to add to what's been said, um, please feel free to raise your hand and Julie will bring you on the mic so that people at home can participate as well. My anecdote is I, I keep swearing that the Bell's palsy I got this summer was because I was going over the store belt or bridge in Denmark. It was, it's like an 11 mile long bridge across one of those channels and I swear I stressed myself. <laughs> No, I wasn't walking. <laughs> I, I, I probably would have felt safe for walking than driving. You know, the wind flags were like completely horizontal. Anyway, big socks. The, uh, the drive home has brought back uh, very pleasant memories for me this morning. I had a brother who was a few years older than I was. And he used to sing, them bones, them bones, them dry bones. <laughs> Told on connected to the football, yeah. and he'd sing this all the time uh, as he was doing chores and kinds of things like that. It was kind of a song of a celebration for him, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for those who were at home and couldn't hear that, uh, John was just reminiscing. His older brother used to sing, Dem bones, dem bones, dem dry bones. And uh, many, many of us who are of a certain age remember that song uh, with fondness, I think. Sung it in many a choir, to some version or another. So. I thought that was very good when you mentioned, you know, that, that the flesh had went on to the bones, but that it took the breath, the Holy Spirit. I, I'm thinking it was the Holy Spirit we're referring to, that it took the breath. To, to bring things into life. Do we want to live or do we want to thrive? Maybe is a question we should ask ourselves. I have decided to follow Jesus.
bust open the cold tomb of made-up minds, massage our hardened hearts into supple softness, grant us the mind of Christ and the courage of spirit to become the people we were meant to be. Show us where we have erected walls of fear and convinced ourselves that they are not only necessary, but sacred. Show us what we are pretending not to know on this sacred path of becoming. We commit to revealing and realizing your kingdom in our homes and houses of parliament, in our boardrooms and business deals, in our policy making and in our peacemaking, all in the name of the ever rising Christ. Christ. Amen. Are there prayers that did not 
not yet written down that need to be lifted this morning. We hold the family of Rick and Rick in our hearts this morning. Please know him. we hold you in the light of Christ. Holy One, you have heard our prayers. You know the struggles, the concerns, and the joys that lie in our hearts. You alone know those prayers, and we trust that you have heard them. Strengthen us to continue to be the church, the body of Christ you have called us to be. Break open our hearts and let your love shine into the world ever brighter from this group of people. Hear us now as we pray together the words in a little different fashion that Jesus has taught us to pray. Life-giving God, in whom is heaven, May your name be lifted in the chambers of our hearts. May the joy of transformation come. May your plans for us be unfurled here on earth as it is in the flight of heaven's glory. For the strength we need, feed us. For the forgiveness we desire and need to give, invite us. Save us from the temptation of all that would keep us from you, and deliver us from those things that seek to harm. Unwrap your perfect kinship of love, power, and glory forever. Amen. It's May. It's May. Happy May Day to you. Coming up. On May 2nd, uh, if you would like to be involved and know what's going on with Faith in Richmond, uh, Faith in Richmond, just a reminder, is the committee that deals with worship, that deals with uh, our children's education and adult education. So if you'd like to know what's going on with that committee, uh, we meet at 645 uh, at 6 o'clock on Wednesday. Uh, tai Chi Fit, and don't forget Wednesday 11.30 to come to the welcome table if you can help uh, serve a meal to people who show up at our church. Please sign up in the back. Um, May 10th, May 9th, excuse me, at 10.30 a.m. is the small church webinar, and if you would like to get in on that, that is for uh, pastors and lay people who are in churches of 50 in attendance or less, which we have learned is 70% of the churches in the UCC, so um, small church is where it's at. Um, if you'd like to be in on those discussions, please let me know. Uh, or Julie, we can get you signed up and hooked up. Um, and then again next Wednesday, Tai Chi Fit and then the Safe Space group will meet at 6 o'clock as well. Now, this Wednesday, also, if you're free around 4-ish, is that right, John? 4-ish? Um, yeah, 4-ish. He's going to be here a little earlier than that, but um, if you are if you can help with yard cleanup, um, that's when that's going to happen. So bring gloves and rakes and anything that you think you would need to do us. Do that. Then... Immediately after worship today, if you would like to discuss the daily devotional, all things are ready. Bring what you have. Um, this is our monthly daily devotional discussion with Julie. And so you can just kind of find the table that works for you discussion folk, and, uh, and uh, it should be a good discussion. Are there other announcements that need to be made? If not, um, you can always go to the website if you have questions.
questions about what's going on in the world here. So, have a stand, please. <laughs>